but sitting on the side of the road, just watching, listening, and allowing the mind to unwind in its own time and its own way. Remember, eyes open, just aware of the space around you in the room. So if you're wondering what we're doing, Glinda is convincing me to meditate using this when you're ready, app that she's recommending breath. called Headspace. In through the nose, but I out through the mouth. have so many things going on in my mind I can't meditate, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I can't even talk that way. It's so weird. I don't know how you can do this. If you're not used to meditating, you need someone to actually train you to do it. And sometimes, you know, your thoughts are all over the place. Someone telling you in a very calm voice what to do helps you focus, which is very important because sometimes we get so caught up in doing whatever we want to do, we forget the now. And the now is, you know, where we are right now. Okay, so I know all about Glenda's life, of course. <laughs> Glenda and I have been anchoring the news together since 2002. Back then when we do things, it was very different. All we have to do is write, read the news, computer, whatever. But these days, you know, these days you know, there's a I lot more. I introduce you to something. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up, it's terrible. I actually take my phone and I check Twitter and I check my Facebook. But Twitter is one thing that I will constantly check. So Twitter is something that I cannot live without. Another thing, yeah. when I am on leave, I don't switch off. I'm posting news and everything else. Ah, okay. What about you? It depends on the vacation that I take. So if I'm on a beach vacation, mountain hiking vacation, no, no tech. Except for, of course, if you need to call me, you can get in touch with me or WhatsApp. But I do not switch on to Twitter. I do not switch on to Facebook. So you're not a very techie person, but I'm sure you have other things on your phone yes, that do. you... Yes, I do. I do. This app will be able to read, hear, listen to the music and tell you what the name of the song is and who the singer is. So let's see if, if your app can take this. Yeah, my app's reading it now. It did! That was fast! Very fast. So it says it's Wonder Woman, the new South Bay Orchestra. I'm gonna download that because what I usually do is, what the hell is that song? What is, exactly. what is it? What is it? I know it, I know Isn't it. Isn't that so irritating? I mean, we want information now, right? The immediacy of information. And so even with my songs, I'm like that. If I'm driving, I'm like, ah, what's that song? My producer is asking me to wrap up now, so I'm gonna put you on the spot. If you still remember how we used to wrap up the news, since we're sitting on All a right, news no stand. pressure. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on Tech Me With You. I'm Glenda Chong. And I'm Timothy Go. We'll see you again. All right, now pan down because this is the most interesting part of the interview. Look at that. After all these years, we're still, we're still wearing <laughs> like the same color. Even our tops are the same. I really. know. And we never planned that, by the way. I'm Glenda Chong from Channel News Asia, and you're streaming Tech360.tv.